All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It's raining outside pretty hard, so if you hear that, I'm sorry. We're going to go ahead and get started. Today, we're going to talk about adding and subtracting fractions with word problems. Your objective is that you should be able to solve word problems, including adding and subtracting the fractions. Just giving you a heads up, these aren't as difficult as the multiplying and dividing, but you do need to know them for your quiz. All right, you do have a test coming up. We're also going to take a quiz and all of those things. All right, now, ladies and gentlemen, your eye step's coming forward. That's important because these are going to help you with that. Also, if you make sure you listen to this video, it's going to give you some free answers, which is awesome because it'll help you get things done faster. We're going to go ahead and get started. This video should be fairly short, but like I said, we got to go through it quickly. You should have this. This is Get a Clue Word Problems. This is somewhere in your notes, somewhere in your folder. You should have this somewhere. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to focus on the adding and subtracting start section today. We might even need to add something. I'm not really sure yet. Okay, we've already done the multiplication and division, but remember, those were really difficult because it was hard to tell which is which. All right, adding and subtracting, much easier. We're going to go ahead and get started. Our first example, a chef bought five, seven and five-sevenths pounds of carrots. If he later bought another ten and a third pounds of carrots, what is the total weight of carrots he bought? So I know, once again, I have seven and five-sevenths pounds, and I bought ten and one-thirds later. Okay, I also see that it asked me what is the total weight okay when I talk about the total weight it wants me to put them together so when I put two things together I am going to go ahead and add we're gonna go ahead and do that on the side we have seven and five sevenths and remember I like to line them up plus ten and one third first thing that we need to do is come up with a common denominator remember you can list them seven and three and you can do that and you can keep going until you get you're gonna find out it's actually twenty one okay we don't need to have that there but we can all right, that being said, I'm going to go ahead and change both of these fractions to something over 21. 7 and something over 21. Remember, I keep my mixed number by itself there. 10 and something over 21. Now I ask myself, how does that 7 become 21 in the first one? Well, we multiply by 3. If I do it to the denominator, I must also do it to the numerator. 5 times 3 is 15. Okay, so I have 7 and 15, 21st. How does 3 become 21? Well, we multiply by 7, and 1 times 7 is 7. I can go ahead and draw my line and I can add 15 plus 7, that happens to be 22 over 21, and 7 plus 10 is 17. Now that looks pretty good except for 22 over 1 is improper and I need to fix it, so I would divide. 22 divided by 21, it gives me 1, and that gives me 121 left over. Well, 1 and 121, that's not my total answer, I can't remember my 17. Okay, I need to add that 17. 17 plus 1 gives me 18 and 1 21st. And that's what my answer is. However, I also need to make sure that I have a label. 18 and 1 21st. Once again, we have to look at what the question is asking me. We should always go back. What is it asking me? Well, it's asking me, what is the total weight of the carrots? Weight is in pounds. So I have 18 and 1 21st pounds. And what are the pounds of? Well, pounds of carrots. Okay, there you go. So we have 18 and 1 21st pounds of carrots. That's the end of the first one. Let's move on. We're going to go ahead and we have the second one. It says a chef bought. Wow, that's the same question. Let's move on. We need to move. All right, let's go. Come on. There we go. Number two. There we go. It says while exercising, Oliver jogged six and one half kilometers and walked six and four sevenths kilometers. What is the total distance he traveled? Once again, there's that word total. So total distance, that means we're going to multiply or add these together. So we have 6 and 1 half, I'm going to go ahead and line them up, plus 6 and 4 sevenths. We need to find a common denominator. That denominator will be 14. Okay, 6 and something over 14, and 6 and something over 14. In the top one, 2 becomes 14 by multiplying by 7. 1 times 7 is 7. 7 becomes 14 by multiplying by 2. 4 times 2 is 8. We have 7 plus 8, which is 15 over 14, and 6 plus 6 is 12. Once again, we have the same problem we had on the last problem. 15 over 14 is improper. We need to divide. That would give us 1. With 1 left over. It's 1 and 1 14th. But we need to add the 12. So 1 plus 12 is 13 and 1 14th. And what is this? What well, we need our label. It says, what is the total distance he traveled? This being distance, our label is kilometers. Okay, so kilometers. We're going to say he traveled 13 and 1 14th kilometers. There we go. 
All right, moving on. Example number three. Okay. A large box of nails weighed six and four sevenths ounces. The small box of whale nails, whales, nails, whatever they are, a small box of nails weighed five and one third ounces. What is the difference in weight? Now, in this particular case, we have ourselves the first subtraction problem. And how do I know that? Well, I know that because of the difference. When we see the word difference, we definitely know that we're going to do subtraction. Okay. Now, I got to be careful because I got to make sure that I have the biggest one first. And if I look at these, I have six and I have five. And I always look at the whole numbers. The biggest one is six. So we're going to go ahead and put that one first. We have six and four sevenths minus, or subtracting this time, five and one third. If we're going to go ahead and subtract those, what do we need to do? Well, we need a common denominator. Once again, this is just like the other one. Lots of sevens in this video. The common denominator is going to be 21, so let's change this to be over 21. And that would be 6 and something over 21. How does 7 become 21? Multiply by 3. 4 times 3 is 12. How does 3 become 21? Well, multiply by 7. 1 times 7 is 7. Don't forget our whole number. We are subtracting this time. It looks like we're going to subtract and we're not going to have to borrow, which is completely awesome. All right? 12 minus 7 is going to give us 5 over 21. And 6 minus 5 is 1. And our answer is 1 and 5 21st. But we need a label. And it says, what is the difference in weight? So the weight is ounces. 1 and 5 21st ounces. Okay? So that's what we're going to say is our label. All right. We have one more example. It says, for Halloween. This one's easy. For Halloween, Janet received 7 and 1 third pounds of candy. After a week, her fam family had eaten. Now listen, if I ate something... It's going away, right? If I eat something, it's going away. How many pounds of candy does she have left? Well, if I'm going to go ahead and do that, it says how much does she have left? That is always indicative that we are going to have a subtraction problem. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started on it. Janet received seven and one-thirds. That one needs to be the top. All right, and we're going to subtract five and a half. And hey, look at this. We actually don't have a seven. Common denominator for 3 and 2 is 6. We're going to have 7 and something over 6. 3 times 2 is 6, so 1 times 2 is 2. We're going to subtract 5. And how does 2 become 6? Multiply by 3. 1 times 3 is 3. Uh-oh. This is one of those we can't do. 2, 6 minus 3, 6. Unfortunately, we need to borrow. So, we're going to go ahead and take away from the 7. It becomes a 6. This is a review. All right. And that 2, remember, we add the 2 and the 6, which would give us 8. All right, now that we've done that, we can go ahead and subtract. 8 minus 3 is 5 over 6, and 6 minus 5 is 1. Our answer is 1 and 5, 6, but remember, we always need a label when we do word problems, and it says how many pounds. So, listen, how many pounds? When it says that right there, that indicates what our wonderful label is going to be. So, that's going to be pounds. All right, ladies and gentlemen, at this time, our video has been 8 minutes. Here we go. This is your independent practice. You need to do these two problems. But here's the deal. Before you do these two problems, I'm going to give you a hint. You should probably go back there and get worksheet number 12 because those two problems are on worksheet number 12. So, yeah, go get them. Like, literally, like, right now, go get them. I will give you the answers if you do them right now, and then we'll check and see if they're correct. So, yeah, go. Pause the video. Get them. Do number 5 and 6. There we go. All right, I'm back. Five and six. Hopefully you guys have done them. We're going to check them and make sure you got them right. Gwen walked two and five-ninths miles in the morning and another three and one-half miles in the afternoon. What is the total distance? Total distance, I'm going to add them together. All right, so the order does not matter. Two and five-ninths plus three and a half. So two and five over nine plus three and one-half. First thing we need to do is common denominator. It's going to be 18. So that would be two and something over 18. should have been 10. Plus, we should have had three and nine-eighteenths. 10 plus 9 is 19 eighteenths, and 5 and 19, if my thumb would work, eighteenths, there we go. All right, now you should have converted that, because remember 19 over 18 is improper, and that would have given you 6 and 1, my finger is not working today, eighteenth, there we go. All right, that's your answer. Well, we need a label. Your label, what should it be? Well, you should have 6 and 1 18th miles. All right, there we go. All right, last one. This one you should have also done. Here we go. Rachel and her friend seeing who could pick up more bags of cans. Rachel picked up 10 and a half bags, and her friend picked up 5 and 4 sevenths bags. How much more? How much more? That means subtraction. Did Rachel pick up than her friend? How much more? It means we're going to subtract. So, here we go. 
She picked up 10 and 1 half. Let's start with that one. 10 and 1 half, and we're going to subtract 5 and 4 sevenths. We're going to go ahead and do that. That's going to be a 14 as a common denominator, again with the sevens. Wonderful. How does 2 become 7? It was 7 minus 5, and this one would be 8 fourteenths. Just to let you know, and I'm sorry it blends in. 7 minus 8 you can't do. Should have borrowed from the 10 becomes a 9. 14 plus 7, that would be 21. 21 minus 8 is 13. 15 over 14 and 9 minus 5 is 4. Then we need a label and it says how much more did Rachel pick up than her friend? Well, the label that we have is bags. So 4 and 13 fourths bags more than her friend. That should be the answer. Ladies and gentlemen, those are the two answers for number 5 and 6. Hopefully you did them on that paper and you got them right. At this prime, it was also free two points. Also, I did another problem earlier in this video that was also on there. You might want to go back and check it out when you come across it. Ladies and gentlemen, your job, finish that worksheet. It's worksheet number 12. So we're going to go ahead and get started on worksheet number 12. This is the one you need to do. Remember, your objective was that you should be able to solve world problems, including adding and subtracting of fractions. When you're done with this, congratulations, you're ready for a test review. And then you're ready for your test. So congratulations, you're almost done. On that note, I'm out.